Hello, and today I'm going to do, show you how to draw fluid lines <coughs> on models in Blender and then also make it into like a cool neon effect. Okay, so it's a simple thing to do. Here's a model that's taken from 3ds Max. It's an abstract model from some artwork I'm working on um, <coughs> to do with New York City. Okay, so basically we can do these lines in Blender. We can do it in other, other programs like 3ds Max have different ways, so I've got a video on that as well if you want to watch that. So Grease Pencil, we use Grease Pencil and then we're going to draw, but make sure this is ticked because it allows you to draw a bit there, then a draw a bit there, and it doesn't link up, so it's nice when you're doing this sort of stuff, this sort of work. So go to Draw and make sure it's stroke placement is on surface and then I'm going to get my Wacom tablet <coughs> and then I'm going to start drawing. So you can see this paintbrush here. <coughs> Excuse me. And the good thing about using a tablet to draw with is pressure sensitive. It gives some nice effects. And it makes a nasty scratching sound. I much prefer the sound of pen on paper. I'm sure you'll agree. And then using the continuous, this one here, this tick box here, it enables you to have different lines, you know, different parts. So without this, it, all the lines would link together. And, and as you can probably guess, what's happening is that the, the lines are flush with the 3D mesh, yeah, they're flush, so they stick to the 3D mesh. That's it all there. And you can do this for ages, you know, you can do stuff. This is just for showing purposes. Let's do a link a line there and make it a bit fluid and then do a sort of really fluid energetic line there. So I'm going to stop, take pen off tablet because it can mess things up. Press escape and you use middle mouse wheel to orbit around. So now you can see the lines have done some really nice stuff so they've, you know, they're flush with the surface. So it's almost like sketching on your 3D model. So it allows for really interesting fluid work. <clears throat> so I want you to convert now the Grease Pencil because if we go to render, I've got Cycles Render set up here, go to rendered, it ain't going to show, or it's not going to show. Um, so we convert it to either a path, bezier, or polygon, so convert it to bezier, <coughs> and now you can see it's converted, okay? Right. And then we're going to select something else. Oops. This always annoys me this bit. So I'm going to select something else and then select that back so we get this little icon here. And then I'm going to go to depth, zoom in a bit, and depth, and it actually increases the Bezier curve. So you can see the Bezier curve is, is adhered exactly to the grease pencil. Yeah? I'm going to lift the resolution up a bit. I'm going to make the curve quite thin, as you'll see it give a nice effect at the end. <clears throat> I'm going to go to materials. I'm going to make a new material, make it emission, because this is going to get your nice neon effect. I'll lift the strength up, give it a bit of a blue color. Okay, so let's go to the rendered viewport. Now look at that. So it's got this really nice neon effect going on and it's lighting some of the model. Yep. Let's go back to material. I'm going to go to the original 3ds Max import. Let's new it. Let's give it, make it quite grey, like so. Okay, make it a bit. That's oh, purpley now. This nice grey colour, and take it to. Let's try anisotropic. Yep. Okay, take the colour down a bit again. Let's go to render. <coughs> nice. 
Oh, okay, so now you can see it's actually reflecting on that clear thing there. So I don't actually like that. I'm going to take it back to um, diffuse. Okay, And then I'm going to go to the world, because I don't like this background color. And we can change the background color. So we can give it a white. We can give it a black. Yeah. So make it quite black. Often a good trick is to make a bluey black. That's what they do in kind of movies sometimes in theater. It's making it a real black's not entirely that great. But if you make it sort of a bluey black, is there any blue in that? No. Nope. Just take it up a bit. Just take it up very slightly, not too blue. There we go. And as you can see, it's made quite a nice, you know, neon-y thing. <laughs> okay, so you can do edit that to your heart's content, yeah. And you know the grease pencil has got loads of good things you can do with it, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. You can. Where's my pen gone? Oh, I was going to show you something else, but I can't find my pen because I threw it away. Anyway, whoops. <laughs> Not very important anyway, so thanks very much, and check out my website, www.jamesavilart.com, always say that, and my YouTube channel here. So thanks very much for watching, and any comments and questions, please ask, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Okay, thanks for now. Bye. <laughs>